Yeah. Okay, in this upcoming tutorial, we're going to get down, we're going to get funky, and we're going to make these fish. Join me soon. I'm Cheryl Ham, Woodlock at Handmade Studio. Let's get down. Yeah. Woohoo! <laughs>
my leftover clay that I had, I can continue to use that. It's still pretty wet. If you wanted to keep it really wet, have a little plastic bag, like a um, Ziploc bag, and put it in the Ziploc bag, and that will keep it moist. If you leave it out on a warm day, it will dry, so when you start playing with it, it could crack. But this is still really quite wet because today in here, in my studio, it's really quite cold. So I can continue to play. Dampen my hands so they're not too dry at the moment. That's really powder dry and that is not. I've just dampened that. So I'll keep my hands moist. And now I'm going to get this and roll it into a round ball. It's not very round yet. is going to be really big. I think I might make it smaller. Take off a bit of clay and roll again. Wet my hands on my damp cloth. And that's a far better size. The next thing I'm going to do is really quite funny. I'm actually going to drop this ball and I'm going to make a flat bottom rather than cut this in half. Watch. That's all you do. Now, I have a lovely flat bottom, but I've still kept the ball shape. The next thing I'm going to make are my lips. I love my luscious lips. When I'm working with children, I do my fish lips. So I'm going to show you how to make these beautiful fish lips. We need two balls of clay. Roll your balls. Doesn't matter if they're not quite round, that's fine. They don't have to be the same size either. So that will do really well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll just the end and make a point. And it looks like a teardrop. That's one lip. Now I'll do the other. There we go. And two teardrops. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to place them like that. And now I have They will go on to my fish. They're not going to stick at the moment. To make everything stick, we need to scratch and slop to stick. That is score the clay and add slip or slurry and then they will stick. So it's the three S's, scratch and slop to stick. So that surface has been scratched. I'm also going to scratch my eyeball as well. So that scratched really well. I have my slip here. Slip or slurry or as I call it slops is wet clay. It's really wet and I'm just going to dab that on. I'm not going to smooth it on. It's a dab. If I smooth it, I get rid of the scratch marks. Now I'm going to place this on and I'm going to gently jiggle. As I'm jiggling, it's actually sticking. So I can actually lift that and I'm not squashing it down. It's very gentle. 
So when you look at that, that is now stuck. I'm actually able to lift up my fish and that is totally stuck. So my eyeball is now stuck on. I'm now going to do my lips. A lot of people, when they do their lips, they overly play with them. Don't play too much. I'm going to show you very easily how this is done. Gently put those to the side. Scratch your surface. So a good scratch. I'm going to turn that around and gently scratch here. I'm not going to do everywhere, just on a little area. That's all I need. A little bit of slurry, slip, slop. So I've got that on now. Don't touch the end of your lips because we want them to be lovely and little with the curve up. Place them on and then do the very gentle jiggle. If I just place them on, they're not going to stick. But if I do the gentle jiggle, I'm working that clay in. And now I have my fish with the beautiful lips. You did today. Please hit the like button, the subscribe. <laughs> everybody thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed today's class making these fish could you please hit the like button the subscribe button on the bell and we'll see you soon thank you for watching i'm cheryl ham woodlock from handmade studio join me soon i'm cheryl ham woodlock at handmade studio let's get down <laughs>